Hi guys, we're the Beer Brunettes and I'm Maria. And I'm Rochelle. And we're super happy to work with Brew HQ today to show you guys how to ferment. And we're super happy to be a part of your brewing journey. Yeah, we're home brewers ourselves. We're in our little green brew barn where we brew all the time. We love brewing beer, we love drinking beer. We love sharing it. Yep. So we're excited for you guys. Home brewing is amazing. So let's let's get into it. Today we'll show you guys how to ferment with two options. The first one will be if your carboy was already pre-filled with wort that you had made and already sanitized. Or if you're coming home with a bag of wort. Yeah, so we've got a bag of wort within this box that we'll demonstrate this with. If you are coming home with a carboy of wort, you can just skip forward and go to where you're supposed to go to add the yeast. At this point, we're gonna talk about what you should do with your carboy if you've come home with a bag of wort that you need to transfer in. So first off, with either option, You'll need to have some materials ready and within reach. Brew HQ made this awesome list of things that you'll need to both ferment and bottle. Today we're only concerned with fermentation, so if you could have a look at this list off the bat and make sure that you've got most of these materials within reach, then you can follow along with us. Easy breezy. Easy breezy. So with that, we will get rid of the box and we'll talk about this amazing carboy. So what do you do when you want to transfer your wart into your carboy. There's a few steps. Not very hard. The first one is add your temperature strip to the carboy. We'll talk about it a bit more in depth later. Rochelle will get into it when we talk about yeast, but essentially you need to make sure that the wort within your carboy is at a certain temperature so that it's conducive with how your yeast will survive within it. So you put this on right away, just a little sticky tab, stick it on nice and good. Secondly, you'll want to make sure that your spigot is in the closed position. Oh now, why is that? Don't tell my secrets <laughs> on camera. I may have had a few mishaps where I didn't close it. It wasn't so too bad. But learn still, from me. Close. Make sure it's in the opposition. <laughs> um, third, you'll notice that ours is kind of wet on the inside. That's because you need to wash your carboy and the associated parts with Brewer's Wash when you first get it. We we use a PBW Five Star. Which is in your kit. Yeah, which is in your kit. So anyway, just read the back of the directions, wash it out, you dilute it a bit, put it in there, it's great. Give it a thorough wash. And then the last thing that you need to do after you've washed your carboy with Brewer's Wash is to take a food safe sanitizer and sanitize your carboy from head to toe. So which we've used the spray bottle uh, up since everything. Yeah, yeah, so you'll read on the back of your food sanitizer, uh, star sand in our case, the bottle, but you dilute it essentially. So yeah, we've got the spray bottle. Mm -hmm. And we have it handed at all times because you use star sand a lot or food safe sanitizer when you're brewing. So with that, I guess we can sanitize it since we've already washed it. Okay, I'll that. Okay. Alright, all right. give her a good sanitize. We'll do that again anyways for the lid. Yep. Alright, great. Roll it around. You'll notice that there's some in the bottom. That's okay, it's food safe, so it's fine if there's some in there, it won't hurt your beer, it won't hurt you, it's great. So with that, spigot is closed. Okay. We're ready to transfer the wort. Okay then, so we're gonna use Festa Brew as an example today. Um, there's yeast already in your box, and you're gonna see the desired temperature range on the back of the package. So, don't be an arse and leave your wort in your hot or cold car, because you're gonna have to wait forever to get it to that temperature range. Um, before you can use it. Yep. Can't be too hot or too cold for the yeast. It has to be in the yeast temperature And range. once you dump this, you're going to want to pitch your yeast as soon as possible. So ideally, you're going to want this at the correct temperature before you put it into your carboy. All right, with that, we will dump it in. We might struggle a bit, so uh, we'll fast forward yeah, we'll this fast part forward for you guys. Hey guys, we're back. We're getting ready and prepared to pitch the yeast, but we wanted to stop and show you guys. Um, we're going to let this set a little bit before we pitch the yeast. Yeah, we're going to let this foam drop a little bit. Yeah, but so we don't get any debris from the air, any dust or anything. We're just going to sanitize our lid. And I just want to make note too, there's a little O-ring inside. Just make sure that it's in there securely. Mm -hmm. You want it, You want to have a snug tight fit here. We're also going to, after we put this on, add sanitizer into the top of our airlock. So again, that would be star sand in our case, but any food safe sanitizer. We'll talk about the airlock more later. Great, so now we're gonna wait for this to settle 
But in the meantime, I'm going to take this opportunity if you wanted to use your hydrometer to get a reading. Mm -hmm. um, now's the time. Yeah, and at this point, if you already had a carboy that was filled with wort, you can you can chime in now. We're officially caught up with you. Yeah, so just put your wort into the hydrometer enough that your it sorry into the beaker enough that your hydrometer is actually buoyant. Just gonna let that settle for a little bit. Yeah, and we'll spin the hydrometer once it settles. And we'll take our reading later and then we'll compare those uh, results with post fermentation after it's already fermented in a few weeks. So at this point we'll let this settle and then we'll be back with you guys to pitch the yeast. Hang in with us. Okay, so it looks like we're ready to pitch the yeast. Um, this, the desired temperature range for this yeast is 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. We are at 20 degrees right now, so we're good to go. You're just sanitizing the area? Okay. I sanitize the lid. Very important at this point when you're adding the yeast to make sure everything is very sanitary. Including your package and your scissors. So we'll get that done now. All right. And at this point, your lid will already be on, obviously, and your star sand will already be filled within your airlock. Okay. All right, ready to go? We're ready. All right, let's pitch the this yeast. This is where the magic happens. All right. Awesome. Okay. So some takeaways, guys, from this point onward. For the next two weeks or so while this is fermenting, right away, make sure your lid is very snug tight as well as this. In a couple weeks when you're finished with your fermentation, there's going to be a, a lot more pressure built up in here, so this baby will be hard to get off. It, like, it's crazy how hard it is to Yeah, so actually. there's this tool you can use to take it off. If yeah. you have trouble with like pickle jars like we do, you're going to have trouble taking this off, so we we'll use this later. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, aside from that, some takeaway notes. Make sure your carboy with your wart is in a room with controlled temperature similar to your yeast packet. So if your yeast packet is 15 to 20 degrees, make sure your, your carboy is in a room for the full fermentation cycle of a couple weeks within that temperature so that the yeast can survive and do its work here. Mm -hmm. And you may need a heating pad or a heating belt. Yeah, you can. If you can't control the temperature, you yeah. can assistance. You can go and judge it as you go. Mm -hmm. The other thing we want to draw your attention to is the airlock. So. Don't be alarmed if this doesn't bubble within a day or two. It usually takes a couple days to get some fermentation happening. But when this is bubbling, you'll know that the process is working and that this baby is turning into beer. So it usually takes a couple weeks. How you'll know that fermentation is complete is when activity slows down within your airlock. So to that end, when activity slows down in the airlock, catch up with us in the next video, video and we'll show you how to bottle. And then we can drink it. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be wicked. So yep. listen, if you have any questions, ask us. We're yeah, here. like, comment. We're happy to hear, happy to talk to you guys. We love home brewers. So this is pretty exciting for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is it. We will see you guys in a couple weeks. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>